When you get a new volunteer on the church sound team, it's quite exciting. And then before we know it, they aren't showing up anymore because they don't think they can do it. Turns out, overwhelming new team members is the number one way to run them off. Now, those of us who have been running sound for a while tend to move too quickly when training new volunteers. So in this video, I'm gonna share some tips to help you pace things out. Before we get started, we just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Church Sound Made Simple. Mixing sound seems complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Cut the overwhelm by getting access to this stress-free, no-fluff training that will help you create great sound at church. Visit churchsoundmadesimple.com. Well, hey, if we haven't met, I'm Cade, creator of Collaborate Worship, and I'm here to help you create great sound at church. So let's talk about how to train new church sound volunteers without running them off. Instead of scheduling lengthy training sessions, I recommend training for 15 minutes before rehearsal and then using rehearsal to give them hands-on experience. You'll wanna break this 15 minutes up into three five-minute segments. Use the first five minutes to build relationship with your new volunteer. They need to know that you care about them, not just what they can do. So be intentional about asking questions that do not relate to church sound. Now, most people wanna skip this part because they're in such a hurry, but all it takes is five minutes to let them know that you care more about them than what they can do. Then spend the next five minutes training them on a specific concept. You can show them a video or teach them yourself or whatever you find best, but just stick to one thing per week. Don't try to teach them compression and EQ all in the same week. Keep it focused, one thing at a time. Remember, we're pacing things out so they don't get overwhelmed. Finally, spend the last five minutes completing the mixing cheat sheet with them. This is a document that I've put together to help new volunteers get familiar with their surroundings. I'll include a link in the description where you can download it for free. The cheat sheet has the new volunteer list out all the vocals and the instruments that they're gonna be mixing. Then they will note the lead vocal and the lead instrument for each song that week. Now this may seem redundant, but it's key to helping new sound volunteers get familiar with all the different vocals and instruments and how the mix changes from song to song. And that's it. It's really that simple and it only takes 15 minutes before rehearsal, five minutes to build a relationship, five minutes to train on a specific concept, and five minutes to complete the mixing cheat sheet. You might be wondering what concepts to teach each week. Well, let me show you how I break it down into seven simple concepts. At one per week, you can have a new volunteer up and running in just seven weeks. Week one, simply focus on the faders and creating a great mix using the mixing cheat sheet. Week two is all about setting gain. Week three, focus on the low cut filter. Week four is all about monitors, mixing monitors using bus mixes. Week five, show them simple EQ techniques using frequency sweeping. Week six is all about vocal compression. And finally, week seven, dive into using reverb. I've put together an online training system that contains a simple and short training video for each of these, as well as a bunch of cheat sheets to help new volunteers apply what they learn. It's called Church Sound Made Simple, and you can get access for you and your team today by visiting churchsoundmadesimple.com. As always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell so we can let you know when the next video comes out. And I'll see you next time.